Peace and love. So, my daughter, one of my daughters, hit me with the question, do I like being Muslim? So this question happened maybe a few weeks ago. And I answered immediately, no. And she immediately said, why are you Muslim then? And I had to explain, I don't mean no as in, I don't like being Muslim as in, I don't like worshiping God as a Muslim. I mean, I don't like Muslims, which is why I don't like to be Muslim. And I know I'm supposed to like Muslims, but Muslims are very arrogant and they have this contentious mindset. Not all Muslims, but there is this energy of arrogance and there's this contentious energy that just exists in Islamic community. Again, not all Muslims. Of course, not all Muslims. There's 1.8 billion Muslims. Of course, not all Muslims. But I don't like being Muslim because of other Muslims. And it's just not based on my past of the mistreatment that I received from Muslims as a Muslim. But it's what I even know exists today. So just for example, after, I don't know, 13 years or so, I went back to the mosque, tried it out at two different mosques, and there's still this thick energy of arrogance when you walk through the door. I feel it, I sense it, it's there. And it's proven when I talk to a Muslim who's in that building, it was proven. For example, I asked this one guy a question and he answered with some empty, justified answer that he thinks I'm just gonna buy. And I'm not gonna rehash that, I already made a video about that, but this, this arrogance and many of these Muslims have this contentious mindset, meaning they wanna fight. They think they're right, it's their way or the highway. And I left hanging around Muslims because of that. Because of the mistreatment, but also because I don't wanna be around this fighting, this infighting, this energy of, if you don't accept my way, then you're wrong. And I feel like I have to justify why I think what I think. And it's this contentious environment. So I had explained all this to my daughter. And she already knows. She knows because I'm her dad. And she knows what's occurred. And she knows about these types of Muslims. Her mom, born and raised Muslim. So she's not disconnected. She sees it herself. So it was an interesting question because when she asked me, do I like being Muslim? I immediately said no. But then I realized I had to say, I mean, I like being Muslim, as in I like worshiping God as a Muslim, but I don't like Muslims. I don't like how Muslims have treated me in the past and I could say well you know I should like them still no I don't they're assholes and my wife told me not to curse and I just curse but they're assholes and I don't want to hang around assholes and I went to the mosque or two different mosques just maybe a month ago or so and I felt the energy of negativity. It still exists. After 13 years, it still exists. So I've been a Muslim over 20 years or 20 years or so. And things haven't changed. Things have not changed. 
And that's what I mean when I say I don't like to be a Muslim. Because Muslims don't support each other unless you agree with them. Muslims will treat you kind if you're a convert Muslim as long as you keep your place as a convert. And you don't think, you just listen. Now, is it like that at every mosque or in every Islamic community? No, I can't know that. But I know every Islamic community I've been a part of, that's the way it was. Keep your place, convert. Just talk about how you converted. That's where it ends. Don't say no more. And when you have a question, question is deemed as, oh, you're not believing, you're not submitting. Whoa, I just got a question. Questions are looked down upon in many Islamic communities, as in, you're not just submitting. And that's all tied into what Islam means. It means submission, essentially. Muslim means one who submits to God. And if you question, then you're not submitting to God. And it's not that. I have a question. I'm not submitting to this answer because it doesn't make sense to me. Oh. You're questioning. Therefore, you're not submitting. And this is deep stuff, man. This video is not going to explain the depth of that, but it's in there. And that's what I meant when I told my daughter, no. I don't like being Muslim because I don't like Muslims. Of course, I like Muslims. I have Muslim family members. My wife is Muslim, born and raised. Her parents, her family, I like them, of course. And I don't have Muslim friends today. Do I? No, I don't. And I chose that path because they will bring you down if you have your own mind. And I know this, har it, this is hard to accept and to hear. And I know in many Islamic communities, they frown upon you being true to who you are in your experiences. As in, oh, don't talk about that publicly. That's a private matter. Keep it all secret from everyone. The most unhealthy advice ever. The most unhealthy advice ever in how to have a healthy community. Keep everything a secret. Come on. I mean, that's just common sense 101. You want a person to be true to who they are. Not have secrets and Everyone thinks the community is made up of all these great individuals. That's an illusion. You don't want to give a new convert that's coming in an illusion. As in, man, everyone is so wonderful. So perfect. And then he or she starts to figure out, wait, that guy's an asshole. Why don't anybody talk about that guy and how he's an asshole? He treated me like shit the other day. And everyone's just walking around like he's not an asshole. That's because they're talking behind his back. His secret. This is real stuff, man. I'm not making this up. The most unhealthy advice. Talk about your problems behind. Talk about your problems behind closed doors. Talk about it with. Muslim so-and-so, don't let other people know. You're going to give a bad image. Really? The bad image is the illusion that everyone is perfect. This is just common sense 101. It's how you run a business, just for example. You don't keep secrets. You don't let people get away with stuff and you just act like it doesn't happen. That's just an example. But a family, for example, can be an unhealthy family because they have secrets. 
Well, that's how you should look at a Islamic community. You don't keep secrets from each other. And if you think saying something publicly is wrong because that person was treated in an incorrect way and he or she should stay silent, then you are part of the problem of why Muslims leave the religion. Convert Muslims, convert, and within three years or so, they leave the religion. It's like over 70%. And the reason is because they have a, an illusion that everyone's perfect. And then they start to find out that person is not perfect. That person treated me like shit and nobody says anything to that person. I have to go in secret and talk about that person, backbite that person. And I know, well, the person should go talk to that person. And now it doesn't happen. It's made up. And then what also happens is that convert Muslim starts to think, man, I'm not perfect like everybody else. And they can't live up to this standard because everything is kept hush, hush. Don't talk about Muslim asshole person over there. Just let him be his ass. Ish. This is real stuff. And um, if you disagree, then you disagree. You know, that's fine. You could disagree and think, well, you should make an illusion and make the Islamic community seem perfect. Even though it's not, you should present it that way. You should be what? What would that be called? Deceitful. You should be part of the illusion. Be disconnected. No, man. That's the most unhealthy advice if I've ever heard any unhealthy advice. If somebody treats you like shit, just swallow it and go talk to so-and-so. And just keep it to yourself. God will deal with that person. And again, I know, well, so-and-so will go talk to that person. So-and-so never goes to talk to that person. Don't give me that. I know, I know. And this video is for convert Muslims. And if you're a convert Muslim and you disagree, then you disagree. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ain't nothing wrong with that. Ten Muslims will watch this. And maybe ten convert Muslims who are watching this will disagree. Well, the stats say that out of you 10, seven of you are going to leave the religion within a few years. And I'm talking to you. The three Muslims who stay and you're in this mindset and you like to talk in private and you don't think you should bring things to the surface so the community as a whole will take care of it naturally. That's how things naturally happen. That person who's an asshole starts to not act like an asshole because he's being or she's being called out on it publicly and not privately, then that's what happens. All that starts to iron out. That's just common sense 101. That's how it works. And you like that. You're the three Muslims that stay Muslim. But seven of you are going to end up leaving. I'm talking to you. When you decide to leave, remember this video and say, man, why am I leaving? Am I leaving because of these Muslims? You don't got to leave Islam. You don't got to leave being a Muslim. You don't even have to leave that community if you have guts and you stand up and you say, look, don't talk to me like that. And you address that person directly. And if you can't do that, my advice is not to go talk about that person to someone else. In my opinion, that's backbiting. If you can't do it, what's going to happen is eventually you're going to leave. But don't leave Islam. 
You don't have to. Now, if you want to, that's on you. That's between you and God, but you don't have to. You're letting that person get in between you and God. You're letting that Islamic community, that's an unhealthy Islamic community, get in between you and God. You can still be Muslim and leave an Islamic community. All the Muslims you know can be assholes. And that doesn't mean you have to leave the religion. Muslims do not determine what Islam is. What a Muslim does is not necessarily what Islam is. Be strong. Stay at it. Leave the community that's mistreating you. Leave the community who doesn't want to hear what you have to say. And I know, oh, these communities aren't like that. That's a lie. I know these communities are like that. Not all of them. Of course, not all of them. I'm not talking about all Islamic communities. I cannot speak for all Islamic communities, but I do know many of them are like that. And I know that many Muslims have this contentious mindset. They want to fight. They're always in a fighting mode. They're always in this arrogance as, I know you don't. <sighs> you disagree with me. No, I know because scholar so-and-so says, scholar so-and-so, scholar so-and-so ain't God. And that's a whole nother video. That's a whole nother video. And that's the depth of the problem. God is not the foundation in a lot of these Islamic communities. There's this human structure and that human structure breaks down and makes seven out of 10 convert Muslims leave the religion. And what I'm talking about is don't leave the religion. If you're a convert Muslim and you're running across these problems that are reality, and I'm telling you they're reality, don't leave the religion. You don't have to. Again, if you want to leave the religion, I'm not telling you to not leave the religion as and if you leave the religion, blah, blah, blah. That's not my role. I ain't playing that role. I'm not God. I don't know what you need to do. But if you see this video and you're one of those seven Muslims who will end up leaving the religion, even if you disagree with what I'm saying and three years from now, you're like, man, I remember that video. That guy was saying, I don't have to leave because it's war on you. You do feel different. You're a convert and you feel different because everyone is treating you different. You go to a mosque and you just don't fit into their little small subculture that they've created at that mosque. And I'm talking about in America. A lot of mosques are cultural centers. And you don't fit in. They like you, they talk to you, but you really don't fit in because they have their culture and you end up leaving because of that or you end up leaving because some Muslims just don't let you speak and have questions some Muslims treat you like shit straight up just treat you like shit and this is a fact some Muslims are just assholes because they are human Muslims aren't special there's asshole Muslims just like there's Christian Muslims just like the Muslim who is a great person. Those are Muslims too. I know a Muslim right now that I'm thinking about who is not an asshole. He's a nice human being. But he's always been a nice human being. Anyways, my point is, you don't have to leave the religion. And when my daughter asked me that question, do I like being Muslim? I said, no, because it's the truth. And the truth needs to be talked about among converts. If you're a born and raised Muslim and you disagree with what I'm saying, then you're not part of the conversation. You don't need to be part of the conversation. You got little, your, your, your little group. Go be happy and be a Muslim over there. I'm talking about converts. Converts are struggling to stay Muslim. 
and are struggling to stay Muslim because of the things I'm talking about in this video. And if you're born and raised Muslim and you want to be part of the conversation, then be part of the conversation. But know that there's a truth that convert Muslims face. And the truth is they get mistreated. They get treated as lower than. They get treated as your spot is this. You talk about how you became Muslim. No more. And then some break out of that and then they become ones who can talk about things because they broke into the part where they are knowledgeable. But to get there, you have to ask questions. And some converts disagree with what I'm saying right now. Some converts are, will, will say, man, you're putting Islam down. I'm not putting Islam down. I'm not putting Islam down. I'm a Muslim. Why would I put Islam down? And I'm not putting being Muslim down. I'm a Muslim. Why would I put it down? I'm talking to converts who need to survive, who need to get through this big hurdle. It's a big hurdle. You have to get over it. Once you get over it and you accept Islamic communities are just like any community. They have flaws. If you accept Muslims are just human, some Muslims are assholes. Some Muslims treat other Muslims like shit. And you start accepting this reality and not hiding behind a closed door and talking about someone who's mistreated you because you're wallowing or whatever the word is in your sorrow. Man up. Woman up. Be strong. And my advice is go talk to that Muslim, honestly. If somebody treats you like shit, say, hey, don't talk to me like that. <gasps> that person will get shocked. And that person will either not talk to you like that, and he or she may end up not talking like that to anyone. You gotta put them in their place, man. Don't let people treat you like shit. <laughs> My wife told me not to curse. I curse. I curse. Not all the time. I know when to curse and not to curse. But I'm cursing because I'm really talking. This is real stuff. I know when to curse and not to curse. My wife is strange. I'm going to be me. And this is being me. So my advice is say, hey, don't talk to me like that. And that person will be like that. Even if you draw that line between you and that person then you can go through that Islamic community and you will gain respect. The ones who treat you like shit will fall off and they won't treat you like shit no more. And the ones who are your real friends will stay with you. Say, man, yeah, you're right. I'm sorry for that guy doing that. And then it all irons out. It all gets better. So I'm at the gym, go work out. Go talk to this guy. The front desk guy for five minutes. I talked to him the other day about Ramadan. He brought it up. I didn't bring it up. He's like, so um, Muslims can smoke. He came up for Ramadan not smoking. And I'm like, ah, I had to go with there's 1.8 billion Muslims and not all believe that you can smoke, but some do, and I had to explain this whole thing. I don't smoke. I never smoked a cigarette in my life. So, anyways, that's it. Peace and love.